you might have heard of the sport of cockfighting. The totally legal animal fighting sport aside from its uh, other blood sport relatives. Dog and horse fighting. Some of you might go, Animal cruelty is not a sport. How can people derive such enjoyment seeing these majestic creatures demolish each other for our entertainment? Well, I gotta tell you, Jimmy. People enjoy these kinds of things. Enjoying seeing bloodshed in sports has been an ancient tradition in our history. It has survived and remained unchanged for thousands of years, with cockfighting, by far, the most prevalent. Roots go back to the ancient times with the Greeks, introducing it to the Romans, and eventually Britain. Yet today's authorities believe that the sport originated from Southeast Asia. There can be no definite origin for cockfighting, as every country who practices a sport has its own historical relevance. In a religious aspect, it is a known tradition in Indonesia to perform rituals of cockfighting. For them, it is a form of animal sacrifice to expel evil spirits. In the Philippines, cockfighting is locally called sabong. They are both legal and illegal fights that occur. Every year, there is a global event held called the World Slasher, known as the Olympics of cockfighting, a televised event of the biggest game farms vying for the cup. Advocates against animal abuse are actively lobbying to ban the practice for its cruelty, with some countries banning the sport, some are regulated as mainstream events. There are legal fights allowed only in authorized cockpits. These are called derbies. And then, there are underground events that also occur, far from the eyes of the law. It continues to exist and thrive even when outlawed. Cockfighting is not just a sport, it's also a business. The power of words and reason towards an argument is important, but our interests include the legacy of tradition. This is why I like to call it an old man's sport. It goes like this. Two handlers, <clears throat> their cocks in their hands, enter the ring. They do some last minute grooming and pecking. They peck the two roosters at each other to agitate them and to signify their willingness to fight. The two handlers set their fowls on the ground. The round begins when the two men leave the ring. Then it begins. Game fowls are equipped with metal stirrups on top of their spurs, placed as it is the natural motion of the rooster when it strikes. These are very sharp blades. If the rooster gets spooked, they can injure or even kill the handler. The fight is over when one of the roosters kills the other. If one refuses to fight anymore, that one loses. If both roosters refuse to fight, it is declared a tie. It can get pretty exciting when you have money on the line. All this happens in about 10 minutes, depending on the rules imposed by the derby. The ring is sweeped and cleaned quickly just before the next fight. It can be over pretty fast, but other times it can take quite a while. Sometimes the chickens don't feel like destroying each other. R Richard? Jonathan, is that you? I got the hang of watching fights by keeping track of the different kinds of roosters. For example, this one is called a lemon. This is a kelso. And this one is called talisai. And this one is called black old English. But I just like to call him Batman. And they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. Some are quicker. Some excel in flight. There is no one best chicken. But there is always a winner. It can be a barbaric display for some. But this is what happens in nature and we just let it play out. Roosters have a congenital aggression towards all males in the species. They are hardwired to engage each other. This occurs in nature often. 
as males fight for dominance and mating rights with the females. Game farms are very dedicated in only producing the best fighters. They buy only premium bloodlines that have a proven strong lineage. They are bred and raised like top athletes and fed very well. Roosters can already fight around 6 months old. Older roosters are strong, yet not as fast. These chickens sometimes live up to several years, enjoying a life of cuddled comfort. They are trained, conditioned, and giving great attention to their health. They are very well, the gladiators of our modern time. Such are other things that we deem is bad and yet it is accepted and welcomed even, from a historic and cultural standpoint of course. Clearly, you cannot legislate what is deeply ingrained in our history. No matter how much the world prohibits the practice, some are here to stay. Hey honey, how was your day? Winner winner, chicken de- Thank you for reaching the end of the video. I wanted to inform you the best way that I know how. Now, my takeaway is this. Please don't make your pets fight. That is all.